what's up guys today i'm gonna try to make it simple for you the comb test and uh, we talk about the procedures and the types and uh, the reason why we use it etc okay let's start by erythrocytes or red blood cells as we know red blood cells they are essential for the organism they help in the transport of oxygen to through the body to organs or whatever it needs okay let's make a little story to make it simple let's pretend these are lens and uh, on the lens we find princesses staying there waiting for the prince to come and meet them let's call the princesses kz and let's call the prince ac kz they are uh, they are urgently waiting for the prince to come to meet them which as well looking for them desperately looking for the princess and uh, after a while the prince ac sees the the princess and from far and because he was missing her a lot he will not wait a second he will immediately come and grab her and give her a big hug without even talking so as we see there are a lot of prince hugging princess and coming because they there is a love there going on so the love story starts between the KZ and AC and uh, as we know of course when there's a love story there is always a bad guy there there is al always a bad guy on the other side and uh, the bad guy in this story is the macrophages macrophages they may be in wine they may be lonely or they may be anti love they just come and when they see the couple hugging each other they just come and they devour the whole thing they just ate them they distract them with this cruel uh, way and uh, without leaving evidence without leaving trace and they ate everything with the land and uh, that's how it ends this, this story with a very sad ending uh, but let's not end it like this and let's see it from the other perspective and see the good version of it so in the other version of the story these ACs are antibodies which come and they are attached to the antigens in the surface of uh, red blood cells which shows a threat to the macrophages which in the first place come and destroy everything they destroy the red blood cells which actually we need them this uh, the dis destruction of red blood cells is called hemolysis and uh, when we have hemolysis of a lot of uh, red blood cells this leads to anemia when we call it hemolytic anemia and uh, the cause of this hemolysis is of course by immunity system is because of uh, immunoglobulin produced by the body so uh, so it's, it's called immu immunohemolytic anemia and because this immunoglobulin was produced by the body and not did not came from like somewhere else from medication or from another or from another person like it was it's or from transfusion it was uh, like from the body itself so we call it autoimmune hemolytic anemia so why do we need the pump test the pump test is to show the presence of these type of antibodies how we do it we add a comb reagents a reagent, which is to like an antibody this comb uh, reagent is a comb antiglobulin or anti-human globulin they are made by injecting human to uh, human globulin to uh, animals which leads to producing polyclonal antibodies and these antibodies when they detect these antibodies they stick to them like this because they look to them like a threat and when they stick to them they agglutinate like they they attach to each other uh, so it's when we add these antibodies like this like this is a red blood cell with an antibody and we add when we add the comb reagent it goes to agglutination like they become a complex a, a clump together this they stick together and this shows a positive results of comb test so when we add this reagent if we have a hallucination like this a clump this shows a positive but if they stay detached they stay far from each others it means it's not uh, positive it's negative it means there is no there is no presence of these antibodies this type of test is called direct comb test why because it only has one step is to add 
the comb reagents to see if there is a positive result which is agglucination or a negative result which is a non agglucination what about the other type of test the other type of test is the index comb test which this test is uh, is done between two persons the first one and the second one two tube we take one tube for the first person which has the plasma only plasma from the first one and the second one has the blood means with the red red blood cells <coughs> or erythrocytes and here we had antibodies in the plasma uh, that's wh what we need for the test the plasma has the antibodies and has not red blood cells so what we want to know here is if these antibodies are compatible with these erythrocytes it means they will not harm them they will not stick to them to call the macrophage to distract them we want to know if these antibodies can be transfused in here can be, they will not they will not show a harm or a trait for these exercises so we mix them and we add the comb reagents all together we see if there is agglucination as we saw in the first test if there is agglucination it means these these antibodies should not be in here should they should not meet each other they should not be together or they will be embodies so this shows that this first the, the first person is the blood is not compatible with the second person blood and this is uh, a type of ex exercise or analysis that we use to know if there should be a transfusion between two persons uh, this th that's why we call it indirect test because we take the first we have like about two steps here we take the antibodies from the first person then we take the clump and, and the, we put it in the blood then we put again the second step we put again the reagents then we have the results so it's indirect i hope this was helpful for you guys and i see you in the next video bye